Welcome to the Biochem Serie episode entitled Acid, Bases, pH and Buffers. This is a part of the playlist on introduction to biochemistry and the biochemical aspects of the cell which is linked above. Feel free to visit the playlist to watch the other Biochem Serie episodes on this topic. Substances that release protons to form hydronium ions or H3O positive ions when they dissolve in water, are termed acids. The higher the concentration of hydronium ion concentration, the more acidic the solution. H3O positive ions are present even in pure water, at a concentration of 10 to the negative 7 molar, as a result of the movement of protons from one water molecule to another. By tradition, the H3O positive ions concentration is usually referred to as the H positive or hydrogen ion concentration, even though most protons in an aqueous solution is present as H3O positive ions. It should be noted, however, that most acids in the cells are only partially dissociated, and are thus, weakly acidic. On the other hand, the opposite of an acid is a base. Just as the defining property of an acid is that it donates protons to a water molecule, in order to raise the concentration of H3O positive ions, the defining property of a base, is that it raises the concentration of hydroxyl ions or OH negative ions, which are formed by removal of a proton from a water molecule. Thus sodium hydroxide or NaOH is basic or alkaline because it dissociates in aqueous solution to form sodium cations and hydroxyl ions. In the same vein, most bases in biological systems just partially dissociate, and thus are termed weak bases. In general, acids are defined as substances that can donate hydrogen ions, or simply stated protons. On the other hand, bases are compounds that accept protons. With this in view, water enhances the acidic or basic properties of dissolved substances. As such, water itself can act as either an acid or as a base. For example, when hydrogen chloride, HCl, is an aqueous the solution, it donates protons to the solvent. This results in the formation of chloride ions and protonated water molecules or hydronium ions, H3O+, usually referred to as H plus ion or simply a proton. The proton exchange between HCl and water is virtually quantitative. In water, hydrochloric acid behaves as a very strong acid. In biologic systems, however, we usually deal with weak acids such as carboxylate. Bases such as ammonia, NH3 take over protons from water molecules. As a result of this, hydroxyl ions or OH negative and positively charged ammonium ions or NH4 plus form. Hydronium and hydroxyl ions, like other ions, exist in water in hydrated rather than free form. Acid-base reactions always involve pairs of acids and the associated conjugated bases. The stronger the acid or base, the weaker the conjugate base or acid, respectively. For example, the very strongly acidic hydrogen chloride belongs to the very weakly basic, chloride ion. The weakly acidic ammonium ion, is conjugated with the moderately strong base ammonia. Moving on, the equilibrium constant, abbreviated as K, for the acid-base reaction between water molecules is very small. For conciseness of discussion, we will not be going into the computation of the ion product of water, or the product of the hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion concentrations. Suffice it to say, that at 25 degrees Celsius, pure water contains hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions at concentrations of 1 times 10 to the negative 7 moles per liter each. As a result, Water is neutral and has a pH value of exactly 7. In chemistry, pH denoting potential of hydrogen or power of hydrogen is a scale used to specify the acidity or basicity of an aqueous solution. Lower pH values correspond to solutions that are more acidic in nature, while higher values correspond to solutions which are more basic or alkaline. At room temperature, pegged at 25 degrees centigrade, pure water is neutral neither acidic nor basic, and therefore has a pH of 7.0. In biological systems, the inside of the cells is kept close to neutrality but not to pH 7. The pH scale is logarithmic, and inversely indicates the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution. In other words, a lower pH indicates a higher concentration of hydrogen ions and vice versa. This is because the formula used to calculate pH, approximates the negative of the base 10 logarithm of the molar concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution. The pH values in the cell and in the extracellular fluid are kept constant within narrow limits. In the blood, the pH value normally ranges only between 7.35 and 7.45. On the other hand, the pH value of the cytoplasm is slightly lower than that of blood, 
at 7.0 to 7.3. In lysosomes, however, the hydrogen ion concentration is several hundred times higher than in the cytoplasm. This is to enable the activation of the acid hydrolysis within the organelle. In the lumen of the gastrointestinal tract, which forms part of the outside world relative to the organism, and in the body's excretion products, the pH values are more variable. Extreme values are found in the stomach of approximately pH 2 and in the small bowel, a little over pH of 8. Since the kidney can excrete either acids or bases, depending on the state of the metabolism, the pH of the urine has a particularly wide range of variation, from 4.8 to 7.5. A buffer is a solution that can resist pH change upon the addition of acidic, or basic components. It is able to neutralize small amounts of added acid or base, thus maintaining the pH of the solution relatively stable. Short-term pH changes in the organism are cushioned by buffer systems. These are mixtures of a weak acid, labeled here as HB, with its conjugate base, indicated here as B-negative ion, or of a weak base with its conjugate acid. This type of system can neutralize both hydronium ions and hydroxyl ions. In the first case, shown in the left, the base or B-negative ion, binds a large proportion of the added protons or hydrogen ions in HB and water are formed. On the other hand, as shown on the right, if hydroxyl ions or OH negative ions are added, they react with HB to give B negative ions in water. In both cases, it is primarily the HB over B negative ratio that shifts, while the pH value only changes slightly. The titration curve, shown here, shows that buffer systems are most effective at the pH values, that correspond to the pKa value of the acid. To recall, pKa is the negative log of the acid dissociation constant or Ka value. A lower pKa value indicates a stronger acid. This is where the curve is at its steepest, so that the pH change, or known as delta pH, is at its smallest with a given increase or delta C in hydrogen positive ion or OH negative ion. In other words, the buffer capacity delta C over delta pH is highest at the pK of value. This concludes this episode of the Biochem Serie series of this topic. Feel free to watch the other Biochem Serie episodes of this lecture as linked on the next screen, and in the description below. Please subscribe to our channel, the Biochem Serie channel, click on the notification bell button, and be notified of new videos to be uploaded. Content will be added regularly. Thank you, for watching this Biochem Serie episode. You can check out the related videos linked here or click on the related playlist as shown to view all the videos of this topic.